Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Really interesting math problem today. Tricky problem, we have 7 to the power x plus 8 equal to 8 to the power x plus 7. So in the first side completely maybe the same on the left and on the right hand side, but right here 7, right here 8, and right here completely different 8 and 7. So let's try to let's try to solve it. So what is the solution to this interesting interesting problem? First of all, we need to know a really good rule if we have, for example, a to the power m plus n. So, if, for example, if we have this situation, we can write it as e to the power m times a to the power n. So, we can write it in this way. And where, where do we have this rule? In this case, on the right-hand side and in this case, on the left-hand side. So, let's use this rule. In the first step, we will have 7 to the x times 7 to the 8th power equal to 8 to the x times 8 to the seventh power. So after this rule, we have this, this situation. And right now we have x right here, x right here. We need to group our x's on the left-hand side and our constant on the right-hand side. How can we do this? Let's divide both sides by this product. So if we divide both sides by the product 8 to the x times 7 to the eighth power, let's divide both sides by this product. I write this product right now. So our denominator right here, 8 to the x, times 7 to the 8th equal to right here 8 to the x times 7 to the 8th. So let's divide both sides by this product. So nothing changed for us because the, pro the same values on the left and on the right hand side. If we divide, if we look closely, all product and right now we can easily cancel this constant and from here 8 to the x the same. So as a result we have 7 to the x over 8 to the x equal to 8 to the 7th power over 7 to the 8th power. So we have this situation. And right now, right here, we have constant on the right-hand side, axis on the left-hand side. So everything, everything is great for us. But what are we going to do next? We need to know a really good rule once more, because if we have different bases but same power, we can write it as 7 over 8, all raised to the power x. Equal to 8 to the power 7, I leave it like that, 7 to the 8th power. So we have this this situation right now. And what we're we going to do next? Take a look closely. Let's apply log on both sides. If we apply log from here, we will have log log 7 over 8 raised to the power x equal to, and on the right hand side, we will have the same thing. We will have log 8 over to the power 7 over 7 to the power 8. So from this expression. And if you look closely to our left hand side, we can easily x goes down right here and we will have x times log 7 over 8 equal to log 8 to the power 7 over 7 to the power 8. Why we can do this? Because we need to know the main maybe log property. This That is why log is, is great uh, right here, because if we have log x to the power m, for example, we can write it as m times log to the power x. So x m goes down right here. So this is why log is, is brilliant right here. And right now what we have, take a look, we have x right here log 7 over 8. This is a constant and this is a constant. So it looks like we solve our problem, but this is not of a final answer. So we will have x and let's divide both sides by this log 7 over 8. So this is our numerator right here. So we have log 8 to the 7 over 7 to the 8. This is our numerator and in our denominator we will have, the next we will have this expression log 7 over 8. And on the first side this is our answer because both numerator and denominator are constant, so this is number and we have our x. But we can easily simplify it. We need to know a really good, really good property right here because we have a, a division right here. And we know if we have a log of a division we can write it as Log, uh, uh, difference of logarithm. Okay, so we can do this. Take a look closely. We will have right here, we will have log log 8 to the power 7, this is our numerator, minus log 7 to the 8th, and dividing all over by log right here 7 minus log log 8. So I hope you understand this step. This is a log property, so I can write this property right here. So if we have log x over y, we can write it as log x minus log log y. So I hope you understand this step. This is this rule right here. We apply this rule. 
And let's go next. How can you simplify this? Take a look closely in our numerator. We have the powers right here. So this power goes down, this goes down. So as a result, in our numerator, 7 times log 8 minus 8 times log 7 all over log 7 minus log minus log 8. And this is our answer because we cannot simplify this more. Maybe we can write this 8 as 2 cubed. And as a result, we can write it in, in different ways. So we can write it <clears throat> maybe the maximum of our simplifying steps right here. We can write it, take a look closely, 2 cubed right here. 3 goes down with this 7, we will have 21 log 2 minus 8 log 7. We need to leave it like that because log 7 we cannot express in different way log 7 all over log 7. Right here we cannot simplify this and right here 2 cubed, so 3 log 3 log 2. And this is our this is our answer. If you ask me about approximately answer, because maybe a lot of students want to know the approximately answer to this problem, and the approximately answer, so x approximately equal to 7.5 7, 1. If you're talking about approximately answer, you can solve it with your calculator real quick. And this is answer if you're talking about mathematics. This is when you when you write this problem in internet, in calculator, so you can find this answer. This is mass mass solution to this problem. This is the maximum of our simplifying steps right here because we cannot simplify log 2, log 7, we cannot do this. So this is our final answer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you understand this explanation. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your subscribing. I really appreciate it. And see you in the next videos. Have a great day.